Hello, I'm the Captain, and this is Sailing on the Spectrum, where I talk about the challenges growing up with Autism Spectrum Disorder. Welcome aboard. Today, I want to talk about people on the spectrum and their facial, facial expression. It is well, a well-known perception about those on the spectrum that, that they don't read other people's nonverbal cues or other people's emotions very well or very naturally and it's one of the reasons i guess that they come off as socially awkward and have difficulty in making peer relationships and so on and so forth and in other social interactive settings but i'm not really going to dwell as much on how they pick up on others expressions or emotions. I'm talking about people on the spectrum and their own facial expressions, outward expressions. And uh, it is, um, I think, another thing that adds to the awkwardness because when people on the spectrum are trying to communicate uh, or give off uh, their what they're feeling emotionally, or if they have something they're feeling or whatever they're discussing, doesn't matter what it is, deep, whether it be something deep or just regular talk, oftentimes their facial expression doesn't necessarily mirror what they're saying or trying to convey. And I, with me, I guess maybe I come off as somewhat uh, maybe expressionless when I'm talking, uh, maybe not as much maybe not so much now as maybe in times past, but it, I don't know, it, um, I know that for many on the spectrum, it's just because of the fact that they don't seem to have a coordinated facial countenance with, uh, whatever they're conveying, uh, sometimes their expressions or their, uh, demeanor can be so mis misplaced. Uh, depending on what the other might be talking about or depending on what they themselves may be talking about. And that can just contribute to further awkwardness uh, because not only do, are they unable to really, you know, ma sync up with what the other's feeling or saying uh, very well, the other person tends to interpret them as being, you know, a little bit of being off or not being able to connect. Uh, I have another video called another episode of SOS called uh, being called being misunderstood. It actually is about a deep personal story about I guess my uh, if you will development over the years about an issue that's much deeper than just simple facial expression. Uh, but you're please go check it out and of course give it a like comment and subscribe as with all my videos and um but i would say just in general people on the spectrum can be misunderstood a lot of ways but as i as i just mentioned a lot of it has to do with their own expression and their own countenance being so seeming so unnatural or just awkward i'd say that we come off as very intense or awkward uh, and it's like we can have an intense uh, look very intense about something we're talking about if we're really focused on a certain subject i have another episode where i talk about how many on the spectrum have very acute interests uh, that's the name of it acute interests it's uh, a characteristic of many on the spectrum that they feel that they are able to focus and uh, seemingly almost on an obsessive level, obsess very intensely over some specific subject uh, and not just on objects, but even parts of objects, you know, and just they, or, but if it's just a general, just a, a subject and a subject in general, it can, you know, really just focus their interests so intensely, you know, and if you, if they ever get on a tangent about it, Oftentimes, their facial 
countenance can, you know, become expressive and intense, you know, and uh, it can, sometimes that can just come off as weird. And, uh, you know, and I will tell you that um, my wife, um, we uh, knew each other in college uh, years before we would end up becoming an item and actually start dating. Uh, there's a whole other story about that I'll have to get into another time. Uh, but one of the things that she, even years later when we were dating and then engaged and married that she's brought up time and again, is she re that she uh, remembered about me even back then was how my eyes would sometimes light up and, you know, just get that way. And then my, even my nostrils would flare. It's like, it's crazy how she remembers that stuff, but it just goes to show you how, um, special she is, is in such a dear way, uh, that she noticed and remembers things about me like that, even back then. Um, but, uh, it is true and it makes sense that, you know, people, in my, uh, in my demographic, in my category on the spectrum, have that uh, characteristic. And um, I think sometimes when people on the spectrum go through the years, especially not just as a child, certainly as a child, but as even as a teen and then as an adult, you know, when they're going through life and going through their everyday lives, you know, and they have that deficit in that, in that sense, that they, their face just doesn't really give off that impression, you know, that makes them look like a good and infectious and infectiously good, uh, person to, you know, relate to and get to be friends with that oftentimes they just get left out in the dust. Uh, and maybe that's why I sometimes felt that way a lot, you know, over the years is that it's not that I couldn't make friends and I did. And I'm thankful for that. I had people who really seemed to just appreciate and just like me as me. Uh, and you know, I managed, I think I've managed to do that well enough with most others too. You know, it's not that I don't have, a, it's not that I don't have a filter and that I just try to get, be just be friends with anybody and anything. At the same time, though, I'm thankful for the friends I did have, but still, it was hard, I guess, maybe to get, be, feel very natural at making friends and feel like I could get to be friends with people uh, on certain intimate levels, I guess. Maybe it wasn't very easy to talk, you know, on a deep level with many people just because I uh, for various reasons, but maybe one of them is just, I wasn't one that just seemed to be someone, uh, maybe that, maybe for some reason, my face and the way I just, uh, the expression that I had didn't seem to really, to average people to seem like something that was very, uh, something they wanted to just buddy up to, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's just, maybe that's just me, but I do know for many on the spectrum that's something that is uh, uh, something that hampers a lot of their ability to create healthy friendships, you know, and all, not only friendships, but also to make good impressions in something like, let's say, the job scene and making a job interview or making good impressions in those professional settings or, you know, those kinds of things. Uh, but uh, those are things that I have had to navigate, uh, you know, and I'm thankful that I managed to kind of, you know, get to where I am, but still, I always, sometimes I still wander around wondering and feeling like maybe I'm just not given the good first impression on some people, you know, what I'm as it is, especially when you're trying to get into a new circle and a new uh, environment and you're not sure how you're going to come off. Uh, but, um, usually I'm able to get over that hump a little bit easier than maybe I used to, but, uh, but facial expression is such a big thing with people and 
it's just the way it is. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily a fair way of assessing a person. In fact, I can tell you it really is not fair. Uh, it's true that we need to uh, take into account what somebody has, the looks people have on their face. And uh, at the same time, we on the spectrum just don't have the natural ability to give the impression that we want. Uh, I remember telling somebody that's uh, that sometimes you got to, I heard somebody say, you got to fake it to make it, you know, and I think I get what they're saying. You want to be able to basically convince yourself that you can be what it is you want to be to make the right impression. But that's not something that's easy, if not near impossible, for any of us on the spectrum to do because we just don't have the natural ability to get our outward expression and our outward impression to just tweak the way it is because it just is, I don't know, it just doesn't really, it's not, it's something that requires a lot more energy or just inner, inner effort, you know, and sometimes it just burns us out. But uh, if you do know, see people who at least outwardly may not look like they're very impressive or very, um, uh, what do you say, bubbly or outward, you know, outwardly going, don't write them off. I'm not just talking about if you happen to know they're on the, if they're on the spectrum or not, because you wouldn't necessarily know that. I mean, it's not like people on the spectrum are going to go around and say, hey, I just want you to know I am, I have Asperger's or I'm on the autism spectrum. It's not like I can, you know, I mean, it, I, it, you know, just, I'm just saying, take, just take that extra second or two just to, you know, think about, hey, maybe this person is, you know, really trying to be, you know, the best they can be, but it, then maybe they just are not able to crack the ice with you. And you just, maybe they just need you to do that little thing, you know, just to let, just, just to let them know that you notice them and that you say, hey, you're cool. Hey, we're cool. You know, sometimes somebody you know at work, somebody you might know at your school. Uh, you don't have to do anything super huge or overextend yourself or look like make it look like you're patronizing them. Just, you know, take that, just take that mental note. You don't even have to do it the first time you see them. Just maybe take notice and if you see them often enough, maybe you could just, you know, try to work your way and maybe just, you know, let them know that, you know, hey, I noticed you, you know, you're not, you're not forgotten. Uh, but uh, that really is uh, something to keep in mind. And uh, just, uh, just remember that. And just remember that people aren't always it just, it's, it's the old hat expression, you can't just judge a book by its cover. Uh, and I guess that's true, especially when you think about people on the spectrum. Uh, so uh, thank you again, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm the Captain, and I'll see you on our next voyage.